whatever way we are looking at the interventions in this river systems they have to be looked in the larger context of a variety of very diverse uh, context and that brings me to the first message that i would like to draw from today's discussion and that message is that um, the very elements that promise uh, development and uh, livelihood opportunities and uh, you know employment opportunities to any region particularly brahmaputra also bring with them the threats of risks to environment to the biodiversity and also bring with them a lot of concern about equity so i think these are the threats which we need to be very very careful and conscious of as we talk about the development of the entire region using the resources like water and forest and all the other and uh, the, of course the second uh, very very important message that ca- comes through this is climate i would say unequivocally that climate risk is the central overarching influencer in the northeast and particularly in the brahmaputra basin uh, i mean it should be uh, 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 you know, uh, so obvious that something uh, where in a region like the Brahmaputra Basin, where water, forest, vegetation, biodiversity is are the primary resources, climate is going to be the big game changer, right? But unfortunately, we have not looked at it because we have not looked at climate. You know, uh, it sort of exposes our gap in knowledge and understanding, which is the third very very important uh, message which has been again highlighted by several speakers today. that the brahmaputra river basin is heavily under researched you know and um, therefore uh, conversely it talks about the need to bring together that research and i think we have also seen some of the key elements which are under researched uh, of course the climate impact of course it's a very very important uh, with what we started today the whole uh, underwater domain uh, framework very very critical 